Hello, Mikael. Hi. Chief, so much as a as a player and a coach already, but this is your debut as a Champions League manager. Can yeah. you sum up how you feel? Well, proud and excited, I would say. It's been a long time for the club since we haven't been in the competition, and, and obviously it's the first time for me as a manager as well, so really looking forward to it. Do you sense that's the case all around this training ground, because it has been a relatively long time for a night like this to come again? Yes, and we've been chasing it and, and fighting for it, and, and now we've got it. And now we have to make the most out of it. And it starts at home, and I'm sure all our supporters are going to be really excited about it and it's to, to manage that and as well to, to enjoy the challenge. I uh, know Gabriel Martinelli at training that I saw today. How, how is he? Yeah, he felt something in his hamstring, and uh, we need to do some further tests to assess um, if there is any big damage or not. Um, but yeah, he will be out for tomorrow's game, that's for sure. And with the North London derby coming up, you know, fast, yeah. is he likely to be available for that? It's yet? a possibility. We don't know yet. Uh, as I said, we need some some more tests and um, and then see what happens. If I was to ask you who is going to start up front or in midfield or in defence, you wouldn't tell me. If I ask you who's going to start in goal, will you tell me? <laughs> Same answer. <laughs> okay, Bradley, thank, thank you. you. Hi, Mikel. Hi. Um, hope you're well. Um, when you can see the, the other groups that some of the other English sides face, maybe Newcastle, are you confident with this with this Arsenal side that you can progress from this group? Well, that's what we want to do, but this is football, and tomorrow we're going to play against a really good team that they haven't lost a game and they have won the majority of the game. And uh, they are used to winning like every other uh, team that is in the Champions League, and uh, it will be a really tough test, I'm sure, about that. This is quite a relatively young Arsenal squad, and for most of them, it will be their first experience of playing mm -hmm. in the Champions League. But to have people like Jorginho and Havertz have won it before, and the likes of Partey and Zinchenko and Jesus, how important is their experience going to be uh, in these opening games? It's great to have that mixture and the excitement that created um, to play for the first time. I sense it. They are players that they played for, for many years, some of them they won it, as you said. And it's just mixing that uh, experience and as well desire to make your debut in the right way to, to perform at the highest level. In terms of the goalkeeping situation as well, are you surprised by the reaction and the split opinion that your comments have received when Roberto De Zerbi has been doing the same thing at Brighton this season? No, because I respect opinions as well and I understand uh, the questions and I understand historically what, what happened. And, uh, but for me, there is no nothing different. We've been doing it for many years. So when when Ben was here, we brought Aaron, and um, and I don't see any differences. But um, it's my job. I have to answer the questions in the best possible way, in the most honest way. And um, and as a manager, my job is to do what I feel, and um, what I feel that always is the best for the team and for the club, not for Miguel. That's for sure. And lastly, the atmosphere at the Emirates this season has surely got to be the best in the Premier League. Yeah. How important are the fans going to be and what sort of role are they going to have to play in, in, this, in these group games? We will see tomorrow night, but uh, I'm sure it will be an um, incredible atmosphere. It will create a special night. I played a few of them with the club and um, I have beautiful memories about them, so waiting for it. Best of luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Eric from TV2 Norway. Yeah, from TV2 Norway. Um, finally back in, in the Champions League. Can you try to describe the role that Martin Ulgaard has had in this rebuilding process of, of this club? Well, he's our captain, a really important player for us and a player that has um, developed, evolved and, uh, and been in this journey with us together now for a, for a few years. He's been instrumental in everything that we've done starting for building the culture that we wanted, um, recruiting the profile and the players with the right specificity to, to play the way we want to play, and obviously the, the level that he has performed in a really consistent way, I think. Ibrahim, from the end. Um, can I, Mohamed Nini, the, the only player remain in the last uh, uh, Premier League, uh, Champions League campaign. Mm. He backed the training today. He's what? still young, though. <laughs> What, what he's in a good place. Obviously, it's been um, it's been a while, and it's been a very significant injury. But I think he's in the last stages of that um, rehab process. He's been training now for almost two weeks with the team, and um, and he's in a good place. And and it's always great to have him around. The experience of of the uh, player. We, we, you have some players won the Champions League, like Havers. Some of them played before, but most of them, for the first time, yeah. will be played. Like, do you think this will be? 
confused for them or maybe uh... I hope no and we have to treat it like any other game you know and, and we are used to playing top opposition every week in the Premier League and, and tomorrow again we're going to have a top side um, fighting against us and um, the good thing that we experience that every three or four days in the Premier League so it couldn't be any different tomorrow Mark, from just, just back on the, on the goalkeeper situation, what kind of response have you seen from Aaron since, since he's uh, dropped the bench? Honestly, I don't want to talk about the response of every single player in the squad, whether they play or not. Sorry. Thank you. OK, Jordan from the Mikael, uh, Fabio obviously came into midfield at, at Goodison at the weekend after some strong substitute appearances. He looks like a much more confident player the last few weeks. Yeah. Could you just talk about why we're, we're seeing that now? That was my fault. I said many times, you know, that I haven't played him enough and uh, he hadn't had enough room in the team, maybe with the competition that we played to participate more. But we see every day the talent that he's got and what he can bring to the team. And uh, I was really happy with, with the performance at the weekend. Is that something that you need to now juggle um, the Premier League and the Champions League? You spoke about trying to attack all the competitions, but how do you keep players happy and also keep them, you know, give them consistency? Players to to be happy, they have to play and they have to feel important. They have to feel valued and and they have to feel that uh, that we trust them. It's the only way to do it. And uh, I will try to do that in in the best possible way, um, maximizing them to to get the best possible performance. That's it. Okay, James from ESPN. Hi, Michael. Hi. You talked before about the frustration you felt having to watch this competition, you know, on the TV yeah. from the sidelines. Can you tell us about are there any particular moments? From you? Every time that I watch it and we weren't there, I felt it. Um, and I think you put pressure on yourself, you know. This club has to be in Champions League. And, and um, when I have the job that I had, I feel extremely responsible to try to bring the club to the, to the biggest stages, the biggest tournament, and, and then be fighting for them. And, um, and it was a process, but, um, but we are here and now we have to make the most out of it. You obviously missed out on it a couple of years ago, right near the end of the yeah. season. How much of that sort of journey from there to now kind of bringing forward? Well, I think it's a learning process always, you know, when you don't achieve what, um, what you always have in your hands, you have to take some learnings and some lessons from it. I think we did, and, and we got better as a team, and we did the right things as well um, to improve the squad, and, um, and, and now we are here, and I think we fully deserve to be here. Okay, last couple in the last section. Tom from Football London. Hi, Mikael. Hi. Uh, of course, under your tenure at Arsenal, there's been the record against Villarreal and Olympiacos and, and Sporting Games, which Arsenal were obviously favourites in. Do you feel like you've got something to prove in Europe now this season? Well, every, every day you have something to prove. At Elite Sport, that's the thing. And tomorrow you have to prove. I have to prove that um, that we have prepared the best possible way, you know, and we are giving the, the players the best possible chance to play as good as we possibly can to win the game. That's the reality in, in the sport. And I, it was interesting listening to your thoughts after the game against Everton about the goalkeeper situation. I'm curious to know what stylistic differences do you see between Ramsdale and Raya that would make you choose one over the other in a, in a different game? It's something that I'm not going to get into it. I don't want to speak about how different it is to Martinelli or to raise Nelson or, or to whoever. They are, every player has a different personality, different characteristics. Okay, finally last session, Joseph okay. Rodrigo from Paramount Central America. Hola, Miquel, aquí. Hola. Uh, on PSV, just finally, uh, I just wonder if you know the Mexican player, Chucky Lozano, how, where are you from, if he's dangerous, Chucky Lozano from Mexico? Yeah, every player is dangerous at this level, and, uh, and tomorrow we'll have um, a lot of things that we have to control, but I think the main thing is that we focus on ourselves and, and we play at the level that we have to play to and the right to win the game. Okay, then we're going to go to 10.30 tonight. We'll kick off with Sam from uh, Telegram.